Well, if you look past the printer parts and the machete on my desk, you will see a circuit and a fluorescent tube. A small one. And as you may have guessed by now, or if you read the title, this is a strobe light made out of scanner parts. So to start off, I'm going to fire up my DS1102E oscilloscope. The camera refresh rate probably won't keep up with it, but you can hear the relay clicking. I'm probably going to replace out the transistor, but you can see that it is. You can see that square wave that's generating. It's flashing quite rapidly. It's also very bright. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... But, um... It's quite bright. It's a neon or xenon tube or something like that. Where I said, I don't know what it is. But there is a high voltage driver there. It inverts the 12 volts that I'm feeding it. It inverts it to like a couple hundred or thousand or something like that. I never measured it because I don't want to blow my meter. But, as you can see, it's flashing quite rapidly. That's not keeping up with it, so it's not actually really flashing at 54 hertz. It's slower than that. But, that's beside the point. I've made this one adjustable. You can make it flash slow, but that's not fun, so. I'm trying to keep the duty cycle right around 50%, because that makes it look a lot better. As you can see, we're feeding it about 14 volts or so, and that gives you a pretty bright flash. As you can see, it lights up an entire room, basically. The camera's not picking up a lot of that, but it is very bright. I might build a reflector for it or something at some point. but. Anyway, that's, it's unbelievably simple though. That's the inverter, that's the rest of the schematic. I've got two potentiometers that are adjusting the uh, 555 timer with a 100 microfarad capacitor. Those are both 10k potentiometers, but I haven't really been playing around with this too much, so you might have to play around with values if you make this. I'm running it off of 12 volts, adjustable power supply that I built. That is a kit. That is my DS1102E 100 chan or 100 megahertz two-channel oscilloscope from Rigol. Got that recently. You haven't seen a video of that yet. Probably make one in the future. But there you go. Really simple. Here's a schematic similar to this. I'm not going to draw one up. So now that you've seen that. Yeah, this is a pretty cool project, kind of dangerous because, you know, high voltage coming from the inverter there, but if you're careful, you should be okay. How I figured out how much voltage to drive this with, I tried to measure it while it was in the printer, but it didn't work, so, because we got a new printer. So I just put it on here, started at zero volts, and turned it up until it got reasonably bright. I think 12 volts is about as far as I'm going to push this one because I don't want to burn anything up. But other than that, works great. So, I highly recommend this if you have the stuff lying around, if you have an old broken printer with a scanner on it, or even just a flatbed scanner. You can pull the fluorescent tube out of there, and if you get a driver for it as well, you can make a strobe light. And I basically threw this thing together in five minutes, literally. And that included all the troubleshooting and hooking it up to the oscilloscope and everything. So. There you have it. That is my strobe light. I hope you I hope you've enjoyed the video. I plan to make plenty more in the future. I've got a little bit more time now. So I hope you go out and build this. It's pretty cool. You don't have to use a uh, fluorescent tube. You could also use some bright LEDs. I've done that before. But this looks a lot cooler because it's much brighter. So there you have it. I hope you I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you back here in the very near future with more videos.